So this... First of all... 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. Wow. The fact that no matter how long you've died, the job is still waiting for you to to make it to your shift. And this is what this place looks like, huh? Not bad. Okay. Whoa! Okay, no! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. I got scared. I thought I was gonna fall to my death. This is it for real? Wow, look at this. What's this? The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. Wow! This company ain't shit for real. How are you gonna ask a programmer not to have a safe code? Man, these corporations are something. This is Lover of Ladies. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. Also, hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. I'm just looking around here to see exactly what is this place. I mean, I found one voice recording so far. Don't see anything else, so I'm just gonna keep going. Wow. Not bad for hundreds of years ago. Most of the... The... Area is actually well... Ventilated and put. Yeah, obviously, it's not in perfect shape, but for a hundred years old... I say it's actually in pretty decent shape. Or a statue of one, anyway. First of all, let me double check here. And they honored it? line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter brighter safer and always surprising pharaoh automated solutions for every problem of life a smart solution and yeah they couldn't find a solution to this okay that's bigger than a tribe i mean i wouldn't call it a tribe Devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Another another recording? Yep. Oh, it's just a log. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna read that, but they are all about solutions and yet they couldn't solve the machine problem since they failed to do a safe code. Ironic if you ask me. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll data files? Oh, okay, cool. Like more lore on how things were back in the day. 
But I'm looking for more audio files. I find that a lot more interesting to listen to than just to read on some stuff. Ooh, well, thank you. This must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Pharaoh Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. What? We'll be exploiting a massive... That's it. Uh, ...growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, and then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? I mean... I have a couple of theories. Maybe the army needed some badass weapons, so instead of making machines to help... There's no smell to it. Not even old death. They make machines to kill. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, another one, right? But I could get through. Complaint? Nah, I'm good. Like I said, I'm not doing any reading. I just enjoy looking through the audio better. It makes it a lot more interesting. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness! I'm scared. That really took me out. Okay. All right. Looks like I can climb here. Obviously, the structure is very uh, weak, so I definitely gotta be careful. Cause if not, I will fall to my death, and that is not a good way to end this video. Where am I going, though? Oh, over there! Okay, okay. So... If I need to be over there, then shouldn't I... Yep, there you go. I knew I was able to shimmy. You guys, I just realized something. Who shimmies better? Alloy from Horizon Zero Dawn? Or Jin from Ghost of Tsushima. Leave your comments below. I want to see who's a better sh who's better at shimmy. Okay, I should be good from here. Wow, look at this. Hold on, let me let me do some more exploring. This is a good opportunity for me to be nosy. Okay, nice little conference rooms here. Interesting. Is that another audio? No, just a log. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Probably something stupid too. Especially since corporations don't really care the outcome as long as they have the product. I mean, they do care about the outcome to a certain extent if it affects their investments. Because that's all they care about. Wow, so this is... What, some sort of a... Ooh. What's this? The no? BOR7 Horus. Imagine you're complete. Oh, I have to stand there and listen? Okay, my bad. Hold on. I'll stand and listen. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. When it's time? 
to call the big guns? Why, why would we need something like this? To control what exactly? Aliens? Were we expecting like a big attack from outer space? Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Like, I would not understand why a corporation would need weapons like this. Intensify force projection. The Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing key. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. No, oh, no. It is the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base. So this is like the big buff boss right here. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Why would anyone think creating a machine like that is such a good idea? What's left of it? I would have been left the corporation because this company is so stupid to make Terminator like machines without any type of back code or dummy proof safe code to stop them from truly corrupting themselves and turning against them. Easy, Dr. Sobek. This is insane. Seriously. Find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. All right, Alloy. We got to do this. Right here, right? Wait. Don't I go up here or down here or no? Okay. No reason for me to go to that corner, so. Alloy is just so agile. I know for a fact I won't be able to climb like this. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. This is so cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. This began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. Yeah, I wonder why. And by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise and absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And the day's coming when none of this will matter. He's this guy is so delusional. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Exactly. Exactly. Telling everyone, oh, it's okay if we have a little bit of bad reputation. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna fade. We're gonna get canceled for a few moments, but they're gonna love us again. Okay, look what happened. Look what happened. As if. Seriously. I would never work for a corporation like this. Woo! That was a long jump. I, I gotta admit. Too close for comfort. Am I not able to do anything? Can I... 
Because I'm not trying to jump down. Oh, that's too much. There you go. Come on, we got this. Nice. There you go. The fact that you're able to jump like that, Alloy, you would be a great athlete. Like, colleges would line up to pay for your scholarship. I'm so serious. She would be good at lacrosse. Or even rugby. That's my theory. Probably football. Yeah, she'll be good for football. I wonder what for for which position though. Nah, I'm not reading anything. I'm good. I see that there's something down here, right? Something for me to take? Ooh, hold on. There you go. I love these supply crates. They're so good. They always come in a clutch whenever I need something. Wow, are we really climbing to the top? This is crazy. Yeah. All it takes is a few good handholds. Got it. Got it. Wow, we're actually oh, at the top. What is that? Hold on. What is that? Ooh, nice. I'm curious what's at the top right here. If I'm able to find some really cool stuff, I'm gonna take it. Wow! Hold on. I'm actually a little bit nervous because if I miss a step, it's a long way down from here. Ooh. What? Ancient armory. An ancient suit of armor lies in a ruin of the old ones, visible but out of reach. Huh. Okay. Okay, so if I do... Let's drop to the ledge here. Um... I'm scared. No, 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 no! Ooh, I'm dead. Awkward. Okay, so that was pretty awkward. I did not mean to kill Alloy. Let's rappel down! No! Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wow, the fact that I survived that. Okay, nice. Woo! I thought I was gonna have her get killed again. I feel bad. I don't want to kill her. Okay. This is... I assume this must be like the... Headquarters, right? I mean, it's a nice, stunning view. I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. Do I still have that quest? Hold on. Do I still have that quest? Yep, I do. Okay. I was about to say. Because I know sometimes if you get killed, the game takes you back an earlier checkpoint, but it undoes some of the choices you make. Do you wish to deploy ice privileges to recover much data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Ooh, for me to listen to? Okay. <gasps> oh, I can actually see the hologram. It's been, to, uh... it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. 18 lawsuits? I assume your data confirms this. 18 oh, lawsuits? What? Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. Ooh. So spit it out. Yes, spell the T. A glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. The name. So How ironic. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Yeah, she doesn't want nothing to do with you. 
That is so funny. Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fairy has been recovered. Okay. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, less. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. Why do you keep on saying that? It's not peacekeeping. It's killing. Oh, wow, Ted. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. Wow, Ted. Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. Ted, you're horrible. You did not think th things through. You can't. It can't be. Wow. You know what I mean? Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Wow, this is insane. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. That is true. I wonder how she did it. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim. But it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. It says the you one who made choice. killer robots. I know. You never I had any good conscience. VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Wow, she's checkmating him. You don't have to threaten me. So sign the papers, bro. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Ooh, the shade! The tea is so crazy hot. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express Thank you. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. So, what's this the next logical no conclusion to this? That's your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? Hey, let her be a brat. Relax. <laughs> try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. <gasps> wow. You have no idea. How monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I want to know who's the person in my ear, buddy. That's a I've good question. Spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Are you offended? Like, who cares? Get over it. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Okay. All right, silence. You've made your point. 
I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. My thing is, why do you care about getting the answer? Not so fast, Silence. Yes, yeah, Silence. Some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Says the one who's always popping up in my my uh focus, you little jerk. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse described him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. A terrible voice. Yes, that voice All was pretty this scary. Is, is that he wants you dead? Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. That's a good connection. Some of the ancient data I've recovered. There are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. That's right, Alloy. Tell him! All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. That's right. Well. Checkmate! Checkmate! Proceed. Checkmate, baby. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? I don't even want to know. Seriously, I really don't want to know. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? Yes? Why do you need to know all these things? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. Okay. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? And why do you I care? I to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. So you really are solo, huh? I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. 
In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipses' focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Okay, Avril Levine. That's cute. And the fact that he's able to override focuses... That's cool, but at the same time, scary, because he could definitely turn on me any time. So just imagine what he's able to do. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. Wow, they really? It. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Possibility that she kind of Walt Disney'd herself. That's pretty cute. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil or a VOR 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. That's right, Alloy. I agree. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.